Also, welcome back to Ash State of Mind. All right, so in sports, in the sports world, we have we have a lot going on. So for stars, we're gonna start off with the NBA, and then we're gonna go into some MLB. So in the NBA right now, as you know, Derrick Rose is out for the remainder of the season. I mean, there's only five games left in the season. The Knicks are eliminated from playoff contention, but that's still something to talk about because this will be Derrick Rose' third surgery on his left on his knees. So that's something for concern going into free agency. But he was looking like a, he he was looking like he might have signed with New York during the offseason because he had he had a good year, played sixty four games, and averaging eighteen game averaging eighteen points per game since he's been in New York, and that has, he hasn't done that since two thousand and twelve for the Bulls. So he actually had a good season this year. The only thing is, do the Knicks want to take a chance on him going to next season? Do they want to take that chance? I'm not sure. There, there, there's a strong guard. There's, strong, there's, there's going to be some strong guards coming this year in this year's NBA draft. So I don't know if they're going to sign him, but I would keep. I would, I would look into if he, the Knicks were looking to sign him. I would sign him to a veteran deal again. But maybe he might get money elsewhere. But then again, his injury might not do so well in that department. So we'll see how that goes. Definitely. Also, what we have going on right now is Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook has 41 triple doubles. 41 triple doubles. The last person to do that was Oscar Robinson. Long time ago. Long time ago. I don't know if anybody's going to do it again after Russell Westbrook, but we'll see. But... Russell Westbrook is looking pretty nice, and this this tonight he has a chance to pass surpass Oscar Robinson. We'll see if he could do that. I don't know who he playing the pellet. Who is, who will he be playing tonight? Oh, he's playing Milwaukee. Milwaukee has a good defensive team, so I don't know. But hopefully, he could get that triple double tonight and pass Oscar Robinson. After last. Last game, which was, um, I believe, the night before last, he had a chance to get a triple-double. But he was one shot, one rebound shot of getting that triple-double. One rebound shot, and he would have got it. But no, didn't happen. Before it, uh, man, that was a good game, though. But also, in other news, you know, we always have to talk about his former teammate, Kevin Durant. He'll be returning tomorrow against the um the New New Orleans Pelicans tomorrow night at 10 p.m. We'll see how that how that goes. I'm um Golden State has won 13 games of late. When Kevin Durant was injured, they had a little they had a little bit of trouble getting into motion with the offense. I mean, you know they have no problem with offense, but with understanding each other and bringing Kevin Durant in and then losing him. Not too long ago, it was a transition. But it seems like with him back, it'll be another addition. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have another scorer. But will it mess up their chemistry? They have a 13 game. They're headed into the playoffs. They have another 60 game win season. Will it mess up the chemistry? That's the only issue. And that's what we need to we need to worry about bringing him back with only a few games left in the season and just heading into the play playoffs. I mean, I don't think they'll have any trouble in the playoffs in the first round. Maybe they'll gel together in the first round. It's when the second round and further further more in the playoffs come along. So we'll see how that goes. And also, something else to discuss is who will be. This year's MVP, or how do you define MVP? Because in my eyes, I would say James Harden is an MVP. The Houston Rockets weren't expected to win. They were. They weren't expected to win more than twenty games this year, after losing Dwight Howard in free agency. 
okay? Now, he's, so, um, James Harden is second in scoring in the NBA. He's pretty much almost averaging a triple-double also. But he has an impact on his team. If he wasn't playing, if he wasn't playing the level he's playing at right now, or if the team didn't have him, there'll be no chance they'll be third in the Western Conference, or third at all the best in the NBA. They have a chance to finish third in the NBA, third best in the NBA right now. Now, nobody on the team has more than nobody in the, on the team averages in the top 40 in the NBA. How could you lead it to how, how, without him? They're they're pretty much nothing. They they're pretty much nothing without him. If who who's gonna carry? He's carrying that scoring load in a tough Western Conference at that. Now, also bringing Mike D'Antoni as in coach, who was an offensive minded coach, was something to transition with also. So that's something he has to, he has had to deal with. Also, he leads the NBA in assists, 11 a game, alongside averaging 21 a game, which is second, right behind the other MVP candidate, Russell Westbrook. Now, he has had five 40-point triple-doubles, five 40-point triple-doubles. Nobody... In NBA history, has done that before him. Having five games where you have 40 points, also alongside a triple double, that's special. Now, Russell Westbrook, he leads the NBA in scoring. We can vouch for that. He leads the NBA in scoring, 31 a game. He also lost Kevin Durant. To the Warriors over the summertime, but we knew that Russell Westbrook would carry the load. We knew what he had. We knew that. We knew that he, it wasn't going to mess with him and Kevin Durant at odds on the team. But we knew that he was going to be explosive. We didn't know he was going to average a triple, almost a triple, a double every game. But we knew he had. We, he had something in him. Now. How would you define, if you wanted to define player of the year, yes, I would say Russell Westbrook. But for MVP, I'm not sure. I might go alongside with, I might go alongside with Harden. So we'll see how that goes. Also, last night the Knicks played the Wizards. And... We lost. I mean, we lost by three. But also, we've seen a familiar face on the Wizards, Brandon Jennings, who played for the Knicks, and he was waived by the Knicks after requesting to go to more a team that's going to likely go to the playoffs. And he even said himself last night that the reason the ups and downs happened with the Knicks is because the melodrama. It took a toll on the team. We all knew that. But to hear from a former player is something... Quite interesting. And it did play out. It did have a toll on the Knicks. There's many other occurrences to why the Knicks didn't have a good season, but that was one of them. The main reason. The drama between Melo and Phil Jackson. Now, we're going to go to some MLB news. Tonight, the Yankees will be playing the Baltimore Orioles in Baltimore. The New York Mets will be hosting the Mar Marlins at City Field this afternoon at 7 p.m. Both games are at 7 p.m. And if you didn't know, former football, um, pretty boy, Tim Tebow hit a two-run homer last night for the minors, and the minors for the Mets last night. Can he make a transition? Can he do something for the Mets like how he did for the Broncos during that one season? We'll see. See how it goes. Tonight. All right. Peace out. I stay the mind. Thank you.